Hey people, in this video let's learn how to control the speed of a DC motor like this one using an Arduino. Now there are many types of motor driver modules available for Arduino like the L293D, the L298N and even a motor driver sheet. This video is to teach you the basics. So we won't be using any of these motor driver modules and we build our own motor driver circuit using a MOSFET. We will also learn how to select the right MOSFET for your circuit and also check how everything works together. So let's get started. The first thing we should do is start with the specifications of the motor. In our case, it's a 775 DC motor which I have over here. It has a nominal voltage of 12 volt and a maximum voltage of 30 volt and the nominal operating current of 300 milliamps and a maximum current of 2.5 milliamps. This means that we can use a 12 volt battery like this one to rotate our 775 DC motor. But to control the speed, we need something like a MOSFET in the middle. To understand better, let's take a look at the basics of a MOSFET and how it works. Let's start with the pinout of a MOSFET. The MOSFET has three terminals, namely the gate, the drain and the source. So the MOSFET we have here is the IRFZ44N and it is an N-channel MOSFET. So how a MOSFET basically works is, consider it as a switch. It has three terminals, the gate, drain and source. Whenever we provide a voltage to the gate terminal, the switch is closed, meaning current will be able to flow from drain to source. Whenever there is no voltage given to the gate or if it is zero volt, the switch will be open, meaning you cannot flow any current from the drain to the source. So in our case, this switch is used to turn on and turn off the motor using the Arduino which will control the gate pin. Whenever the gate pin is high, the motor will start rotating. Whenever it is low, the motor will stop rotating. And by giving a PWM pin, which is nothing but turning on and off this gate pin repeatedly, we can control the speed of the motor connected to this MOSFET. The most important terms that you should understand while using a MOSFET are these. The first one is the gate to source voltage, VGS, which is nothing but the voltage we should give to the gate pin to turn on or off the MOSFET. In our case, it should be 5 volt or lesser than that because the voltage maximum we can give from a GPIO pin of Arduino is 5 volt. The next thing is the continuous drain current or ID which is nothing but the maximum current that can flow through the drain and source pin. So this current should be equal or greater than the maximum current consumption of the motor because the entire current consumed by the motor will flow through the MOSFET. The third one is the drain source voltage or VDS which is the voltage between the drain and source pin. It should be equal or greater than the maximum operating voltage of the motor. In our case we are using a 12 volt power supply so it should be greater than 12 volt. The last one is the drain source resistance at on state or RDS. So this is nothing but the resistance which is present by default between the drain and source pin. Like I told you earlier, the MOSFET acts like a switch. So whenever the switch is closed, since this is an electronic device, it will have some kind of internal resistance. So this internal resistance is called RDS. The lower the RDS, the more efficient the MOSFET will be because it will be like a resistance over here. So if this resistance is lower, there won't be much voltage drop here. And hence it will be very efficient and not wasting any power through this switch. Fine, so now how do we know that this particular MOSFET is the right choice for our 775 DC motor? To understand that, we have shown you two graphs here which is taken from the datasheet. You can just open the IRFZ44N datasheet and you will be able to find this graph and for IRLZ44N you will find this graph. So we have shown two graphs in comparison to make you understand how to select the right MOSFET for your switching applications, in this case controlling the speed of the motor. So this graph shows how much of current is allowed to pass through the MOSFET for a particular gate voltage. Say for example in IRLZ44N which is the MOSFET we have used for this project. When the gate to source voltage is just 5 volt, we'll be able to pass a maximum current of around 60 amps. So this is a logarithmic graph. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50 around 60 amps of current can be flown through this MOSFET which is the train current at just a gate to source voltage of 5 volt. This is very important because in most of the MOSFETs like this IRF is at 44N you can see that at 5 volt you'll be able to pass just about 20 amps which is much lower compared to the IRL is at 44N. So you have to make sure that the drain current is lesser than the maximum current required by your load. You also have to make sure that the gate to source voltage is 5 volt in our case because we are providing 5 volt from the Arduino. And you can also see that this, this graph has been drawn for the drain to source voltage of 25 volt. In our case it will just be 12 volt so we will get a much better performance than this. Now that we have selected the MOSFET for our motor, let's take a look at the circuit diagram for our project. As you can see, the circuit diagram is very simple. We have our IRL is at 44 yen MOSFET over here and the 12 volt battery source which is a lithium battery source is over here and the 775 motor which we are controlling is shown over here. So what we are trying to do is we'll have a potentiometer connected to our Arduino and from this potentiometer we will read the position using analog read and then based on that we'll generate a PWM signal here which will be given to the gate of this MOSFET and based on this PWM signal we'll be able to control the current flowing to this motor from this battery. So everything is pretty simple here. It's just a couple of resistors and a freewheeling diode. So a freewheeling diode is used here to make sure that any reverse current coming from the motor does not affect the MOSFET. So yeah, the circuit diagram is pretty simple. You can also see a visual circuit diagram here with all the components actually present on the breadboard. And this is the 12 volt power source over here. Now let me quickly show you how to build this circuit in real time. Now that our circuit is ready, we have to program our Arduino board to read the analog values from this potentiometer and generate PWM pulse to switch the MOSFET, which is exactly what we have done on our Arduino code here. As you can see, the code is hardly 5-6 lines. The first line shows that we have initialized pin number 9 as motor pin, which is actually connected to the gate of the MOSFET. And then under this setup, we are just defining that the motor pin is an output pin and then in void loop we just have two lines of code. The first line we read the value of the potentiometer through the ADC using analog read A0 and then we write that value by mapping it. So basically Arduino returns 0 to 1023 as ADC value. We convert it to 0 to 255 for PWM and then we write it to the motor pin which is pin number 9. So based on the value you give in the potentiometer, the PWM's duty cycle will get varied. Unlike that, we have learned how to control the speed of a DC motor using an Arduino. With that, this is Ashwin signing off. Subscribe to this channel and we'll meet in the next one.